What is going on? We are back at it with another episode of Degenerate YouTubers slash streamers. This is honestly becoming so much fun. Make, just making you feel uncomfortable. Making you watch these uh, streamers, uh, these YouTube addicts uh, going for that new drug called... It's not really new. It's been here for a while. Called Views and Likes. Now, before we start this video about this uh, new Degenerate streamer that I came across with, I just want to... I know what you're thinking. I kush, you didn't make your bed. I've never expected this from you. Not only your videos suck, now you're also a messy person who doesn't even make their bed. You are disgusting. Do better. I know, but I just woke up from a nap, as you can see from that juicy, watery saliva spot over there. I was planning to go back to sleep, but I didn't. But then I was like, I woke up, I was like, well, I'm going to go back to sleep in six hours. Doesn't make sense if I should do the bed again. But still, I apologize if you are disgusted by the background. Now, two days ago, we talked about this most annoying streamer ever where this guy has done some disturbing, dis disturbing stuff where you want to, when you see him on the screen, you want to slap him through the screen. All the way from harassing people to going, uh, offering homeless people food and then buying them the food and eating the food in front of them. Unfortunately, this is what uh, YouTube pranks have come to. They are all addicts for what? They will do anything. They will sell their kidney. They will sell their, their sister. They will sell their brother just to get some likes and views because in 2024, if you do not have views and likes, you are not fit in society. You are not cool enough to for people to speak about. It is like a, it's like a very addicting drugs. <laughs> For this episode, I chose the right person to make you want to take your eyes out and just be disgusted by what, about how social media, what the internet has come to. First of all, this was one of my favorite songs of all time. My milkshake brings all the girls at the yards. They are all like, it is, he has ruined it. I don't think I can ever sing this song again without picturing him. This is a big ass creature jumping up and down, singing this song, pouring down his milkies, putting milk on his milkies and jumping up, up and down. I also want to point out there are kids over here, but most of these pranks are mainly happening in walmart i feel like walmart needs to have like a very strict security where they are allowed to use force they're allowed to no filming allowed inside walmart no nothing they need to take this problem seriously because all these pranksters are coming to walmart because it's the perfect thing to do and if you have kids and you go to this places the kids need to be monitored all the time you don't know what's gonna happen <laughs> Now, when I first saw this video, I was very speechless. I was like, what went through this guy's head? Was it, Did he just one day wake up and he was like, bro, I have a video idea. Here's the camera. Film me. I'm about to go to Walmart, put some milk on myself and to scream from the top of my lungs to terrify everyone and get some likes and views. And if you're planning to start a prank channel in 2024, I think you're about seven, eight years late. And start to think for a second. Imagine you work at that place i'm think i'm guessing it's walmart and you see someone pour something like that scream and run away and now you have to clean milk off the ground from some other guy's milkies that fell there how would you feel bro it feels really bad honestly someone in the comments said that i heard he got banned and arrested now i looked him up i found his youtube channel with 20 videos and 395 subscribers honestly it's a mystery why he doesn't have more because his content is so funny and entertaining to watch I don't know what's his beef with milk, but 90% of his video is with milk. Maybe he's traumatized that his dad, he has some issues that his dad went uh, to get milk. He never came back. So he was like, you know what? I will go find the milk. I will go throw milk on myself because look, dad, I'm here. I feel bad for the supermarket guy. And the supermarket guy, I feel bad for him, bro. 
Again, he has to clean all these things. They just take milk. They go throw it on themselves. And these girls, where are their fathers? It's going to be really sad. Imagine like you have kids. They have kids. And then their kids are going to look them up. And they're going to be like, Dad, was this you back in 2024? You, were you a YouTube prankster? They will definitely be getting bullied by their kids. I looked him up on TikTok as well. He has 500,000 followers for some reason, I TikTok people, they follow anyone they see. I still don't understand TikTok. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about them. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Take care of yourself. And I, you think we're done? You think I am done with you making you want to take your eyes out? We are not done. I will still make you more uncomfortable. <laughs> Juice World is out of control over here. I don't know what this guy takes. He can't be doing this sober. I genuinely do not think he can do this sober. We always thought, we always thought like, okay, this video is gonna be this is the worst streamer, this is the worst prankster, this is the worst YouTuber ever. Then always sometime someone is going to come up and just prove us wrong. And most of these things happen in the US, right? I feel like the US government, instead of donating all this money to Israel or uh, t taking this much tax from the people, they should invest in, a, I want to say Arkham Asylum, but a content creation asylum. The people who are wanting those clicks and people like this wanting to get famous, they need to be put there. They need to study how content works. They need to get healed to make sure that not all their life is going to be about views and likes. Honestly, if any US government uh, officials watching these videos, take, take my note. Like, uh, use it. I swear it will help you a lot and it will uh, save uh, people getting traumatized of seeing this, uh, some creatures walking around with milk and putting down, down their uh, milkies. Unfortunately, this won't be the last episode we make about this uh, creatures out in the, un in the internet. But yeah, just wanted to bring this guy, put him out in the spotlight, give him some attention so he will get cancelled. It's I'm not I won't be surprised if he he's already been arrested many times and he's still doing it. I don't know if his mother dropped him when he was a kid or his dad left with uh, he never came with with the milk. I'm pretty sure of that. But I hope his dad comes back to his life and uh, makes him realize that my son doing all of this is not okay. Anyways, just wanted to talk about that. Yeah, maybe we'll do some story times. Yeah, I have some crazy ass funny stories about my life. Maybe I will share with you. But anyways, take care of yourself and I will see you at the next one.